epinephrine, the adrenaline shot. It is usually my third line vasopressors added after norepinephrine and vasopressin. The exception, of course, is anaphylaxis where epinephrine comes first. Now, compared with norepinephrine, it has stronger beta-1 activity and weaker alpha-1 activity, which means it's more likely to cause tachyarrhythmias. Its potent beta-2 activity also makes it a powerful bronchodilator. This is something to remember in life-threatening asthma exacerbations. Inhaled racemic epinephrine has a place too. It is used for strider. And do not be surprised if lactate rises after starting epinephrine rib. That's an expected short-term effect of adrenergic stimulation, not automatically a sign of worsening shock. So always interpret lactate level in context. Now dosing for shock starts at 0.01 to 0.05 mcg per kg per minute. And remember, this is very different and much smaller from the much higher IV bolus doses used during a cold. When patients are recovering and you are weaning vasopressor, epinephrine is typically the first to come off, then vasopressin, and then last norepinephrine.